Haters talking, but I don't even hear them. <laughs> yeah, man. Yo guys, it's Gun on Toby here or Toby Jizzle and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 13 Virtual Pro Career Mode series Prolific and we are kicking off today's episode with a game against Birmingham City and we've moved the difficulty level back to uh, world class after playing on Legendary for a couple games at the end of the last episode and the game against Birmingham doesn't really reflect the change in difficulty, it's a game of very... Uh, very few chances I guess um, they could just see like a half chance of a header towards the opposition goalkeeper but Birmingham keep us under a bit of pressure at the start of the first half keeping the ball in our half of the field and just not allowing us to have possession however on the half hour mark we do break through at the other end Jacquette getting forward and getting the ball through to Hoylet who gets his shot off but it's saved by Doyle and Jacquette is there on the rebound to make it 1-0 in the 31st minute of the game so really happy to take the lead in this game and Jisung Park breaks through getting the ball over to Granero and he gets a chance he brings the ball down and takes a shot up it goes just wide of the post probably could have done a lot better with that opportunity there however in the second half we do continue to create more chances Jizzle doing some nice work on the ball there getting the ball to Terrapt who fires home in their post so that gets Jizzle another assist and it really was a fantastic uh, finish from Terrapt so really happy to get a second goal in this game and that really summed up the game there wasn't really many chances after that until the 90th minute where Birmingham get a half chance to get a goal but it's comfortably saved by Cesar and that is how the game finishes so a comfortable 2-0 victory at home to Birmingham City which is exactly what we needed after some lacklustre performances in the last episode and a 6.8 rating which is a lot better than the ratings we were getting at the end of the last episode but still not where we want to be uh, achieving I guess and we move on to our game against Everton now Everton are always a tough side to beat, they're doing really well in the league at the moment but we have already beaten them at one point this season so going to be looking to repeat the feat essentially and get another three points here today at home this time since we did beat them away the first time but um, Hoylet has a really bad game this game and you're just going to see he's messed up one chance already there and a lovely ball over uh, through from Terrat to him once more but his touch is poor and allows Coleman to get back and make the defensive challenge so Hoylet's already let two chances go and he re his performance really doesn't improve this game if there's some person I'm going to pin the blame um, on it's basically him although he did create a fantastic chance for Terrat there forcing a save off Howard and Everton kind of take the lead against the run of play. This is like the one real chance they created during the game. Osman turning in the box and getting a shot off past the goalkeeper to give them the lead in the 31st minute. So really unfortunate to go behind to um, Everton's first chance of the game essentially. And we move on to the second half where we work the ball down the left hand side. Hoylet playing it into Terrapt who gets a lovely ball over the top. And Jizzle breaks through and gets a shot off and really probably should have done better there. Firing over the bar from the edge of the area. And that basically summed up this game for us, creating a lot of chances but not being able to get our shots off. Here a fantastic def defensive intervention from Distan uh, prevents Jizzle breaking through on goal once more. And Trevi plays the ball forward down the wing to kind of rekindle the attack but a poor touch from Hoyler breaks down the move so really disappointed with his performance especially in this game. We do get a chance in the last 5 minutes of the game to get a goal but Howard makes a fantastic double save essentially and Everton do clear it and that is how the game finishes so 1-0 really disappointing result. and just another relatively poor rating 6.1 with no shots on target so really disappointing from Jizzle and I think that makes it four games now without a goal for Jizzle who's currently the top scorer in the Premier League so on a bit of a goal drought at the moment going to be looking to end that essentially in our game against Norwich City now Norwich are at home in this game but they are quite low down in the Premier League I think they're in the bottom half of the table so really it should be quite a comfortable game for us but um as I have said in previous episodes it's usually against the lower oppositions that you tend to struggle because they have such strong defensive setups and when you're playing at world class or legendary difficulty the computer does really well defensively and you can see an example of this here a fantastic defensive intervention from Besong prevents Jizzle from breaking through and creating a goal scoring opportunity and Trap gets a shot off in the 24th minute of the game but that's not troubling really at all and we have Norwich under pressure for most of the first half creating lots of goal scoring opportunities Jizzle they're getting a shot off which was saved comfortably by the goalkeeper and they're heading over from the resulting corner so not really taking our chances and just towards the end of the first half Norwich show their first sign of intent to do damage to us as Morrison gets a shot off just past the goalkeeper's left hand post so really unfortunate for them not to take the lead there but we do create chances in the second half to wrap and Jizzle doing some good work in the middle of the field but once more Jizzle squandering the chance they're shooting off balance with his weaker foot so that was never going in and the chances keep coming, this time Terrapt finding Jizzle in the middle of the box and his shot could only go wide of the far post. 
so once more unfortunately not to take the lead however in the 75th minute of the game we finally get a break as Jizzle gets through in the box and shoots from 15 yards out to make it 1-0 in the 76th minute and you can tell he's releasing all his frustration there doing those karate kicks in the celebration but yeah really lucky there deflected pass I guess broke through to Jizzle and he just got the shot off and he was making no mistake from there however in, in the 85th minute of the game we do get hit with that famous sucker punch um they just I don't, I don't even know how that went in. Tete banging it in from 20 yards out. And unfortunately for us, we see Jizzle go off injured just after that goal. So not, look, not the best of the news at this stage um, of the season. And things just get worse as a mistake from Cesar, a really poor punch, results in Norwich getting a little break and Snodgrass tucking home in the 90th minute. So at the end of the day, Norwich come away with the win. Really disappointing result for us have an 8.3 rating shows that Jizzle did have a good game and things are finally looking up for him but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have feel free to leave a like if you didn't hit the dislike button but if you've enjoyed the video and you think you'd enjoy the rest of the content on my channel feel free to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in a bizzle peace